So to start off with happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. So swim jigs. How many of you guys throw swim jigs? Because I haven't done it very much at all. I'm just getting into them. It's definitely one of them baits you definitely want to have in your arsenal. Swim jig fish though. Swim jig fish. So Ray Smith and I, we're not swim jiggers. <laughs> so we're gonna come out, we're gonna swim jig a whole bunch today. Both using 20 pound braid. Slightly different color swim jigs. We'll see what happens as far as uh, switch it up or whatever. We could be frogging by the end of the day, who knows? Everybody and their brother makes them. What you want to look for in a swim jig is some type of cone-shaped head. And what that does is get the, it comes through the weeds a lot better. Usually the round part of the nose is up front and it blocks the weeds. It, it just comes through the weeds a lot easier. Man, we're gonna lighten them up this morning. Bigger and skinny. Skinny longer. Skinny old fish, ain't they? Another skinny one, isn't it? Skinny. They just, just finished up spawning. They're all. That's what they look like, you know? Yeah. It's just males that are just wore the hell out. <laughs> yeah, they're beat up. Eating the wrong food. <laughs> yeah. He hit that on the way down, right? Yeah. Good fish. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's a freaking pipe. Oh, wait. <laughs> you didn't. I, nah, I just grabbed it. My jig's right there. I'm the other side of his mouth. Oh, well, we just, yeah. No. All critters like swim jigs. <laughs> Sizes that I use. Quarter, three-eighths, half ounce if you're going deep. Standard, three-eighths. It, it's, it's a good one to throw anywhere. Trailers, you can use anything from double tails, single tails, crawl patterns. I mean, you name it, you can't go wrong. You could put a worm on the back of one of these. If it's got some shake to it, it's gonna work. Look at him following him. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> the key thing with these baits are you can throw them anywhere to be honest with you um on top of lily pads through the lily pads through the weeds in the weeds you can let it fall just like a jig you can fish it just like a jig the unique part about this is there's no wrong way to fish it just kept feeling them. You know what? I think he got it. <laughs> and that's a good bait to have. 
I'm getting more in tune with them. I'm going to be throwing them a lot more, without a doubt. Ray Smith and I went out on a lake this morning, and I told him, just bring a rod or two and bring your swim jigs, because that's all we're doing. These fish that we caught today, we didn't get any good ones. Uh, big ones, should I say. But we caught a lot of fish. This morning, Father's Day, it was foggy. Temperature was great. We hardly had any wind. But uh, give these baits a whirl, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some time in on them. They're not monsters, but man, are they fun. So if you never use a swim jig, we're just casting them out, letting them sink down, and then it's just a super slow retrieve. Let it come through the weeds, you'll tick it, give it a shake, you'll know when they get it. Good one, Ray? I don't know, I haven't even seen it yet. Fun one. Yeah. Fish that one just like a regular jig. Yeah. <laughs> with these baits, that's for sure. Yeah. Definitely something we need to continue with. Because I'll tell you what, one of these and a chatterbait, you can cover a lot of water jacket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of water. You got my tail. You got one of my tails. <laughs> Let me see what I can do. See if I can't help you out. It's got a lot of different colors. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can help you out. <laughs> they ain't big, but they're fun. See if he's got my tail. See if he's got your tail. Oh, yeah. He's a little fella. Got him fired up, huh? Yeah. While you're playing around, <laughs> I might just have to make one more cast over there. Just because it's called a swim jig doesn't mean you have to swim it all the time. You can fish it just like a regular jig, and that's what Ray is doing in his little honey hole over here. It ain't very big. Yeah, I've seen him jump. Yeah. Once again, just cast it out there, let it drop, and watch that line jump. Nope, yeah. So once again, guys, happy Father's Day to you. I appreciate you watching. I hope some of this stuff helps. Give these a try. They're great baits. Hit that subscribe button if you can. We'll see you guys out there.